couple months ago, I went to a sexual healing conference in Utah, and it was not Christian-based, but it wasn't like anti-Christian either. It was kind of just like, you know, middle of the road, but I took my Christianity with me. I take my Christianity everywhere I go, so it doesn't matter who's doing what. Nobody's going to steal my Jesus from me. So I go to this conference, and I actually have the necklace, which you won't be able to see, but I wear it. And on one side, it says, reclaim hope, and on the other side are a bunch of cracks, and I love it because I get to tell people what it means. And basically, there's this old Asian tradition, and it's called kintsuki, if I'm pronouncing it correctly. And basically, they embrace the damaged. We break a mug or a cup or a plate, we throw it in a trash can. But in this Asian tradition, what they do is they keep that broken, damaged item. And then they put it together with, uh, with um, gold, and some other adhesive. They, they literally put it back together with gold. They embrace the damaged, and they then make it more beautiful than it was before. And of course, the spiritual implications are that, you know, God takes our damaged, broken lives and our damaged, broken past, and instead of hiding us in shame or throwing us away, it's actually those cracks that make us beautiful now that they're filled with his gold that allows us to go out and spread it to others. Tasha wouldn't be able to reach the women in the sex industry had her cracks not been filled with gold and now she can go back to the broken vessels and say, look, look, look what God's done for me and he can do it for you as well. And so I just want to share that because see, so often I have this conversation with my mom just the other day. So often we want to hide our cracks. We want to, you know, like I can come to church and I'll worship Jesus. I'll even serve in the nursery or do whatever's required of me. I'll pay my tithes. But nobody touched that part of my heart that nobody knows about. I don't know. Maybe it was a couple abortions I had. Maybe it was the fact that I was raped. Maybe it was the fact that my daddy abused me. I don't know. I don't know what everybody's cracks are. I know what my cracks are. And what I have found is when you hide them in the dark, you give them power over you. That shame then swallows you up. And too many women go through life maimed, broken, and, and, and living in shame and so afraid if somebody opens that door of my heart. Amen? I have my own policy. I'll tell you everything up front because then nobody has anything on me. <laughs> Amen? 